Hey now, welcome to the Race Crews Weekend Show. If you're new, I spend the first few minutes talking about new items in my display case spot behind me. There's, there's other stuff as well, but I've talked about them in every show, uh, other shows. So I just talk about the new stuff. By the way, thanks again to Cho for getting me the gold Camaro. But I forgot I left these loose cars in the box. He threw in some loose cars as well. This is a nice green light piece. The other four are Johnny Lightning and uh, Auto World. Thanks again, Cho. Somebody else helped me. This one right here. I did a review on Truck and Tuesday of this Porsche. And I said, uh, I found this, but these were gone, you know, because they're Nissan, Nissan, they're gone. And I said, if I don't find this, that's okay. But I think I would like this one. I like wagons. Uh, they call it a van, but it's a wagon. Uh, I think I might like it. I like the color combo. Well, Al contacts me and said, hey, I'll hook you up at cost, okay? And I'm like, mm, okay, because I don't think I'm going to find it. Yeah, I'd rather, if I can get it without paying for shipping, you know, then... Uh, I'd try to find it, but that ain't going to happen. Uh, so he, he offers it a cost. And then I see his name, his email address has the word Mustang in it. And I'm like, wait, Al, Mustang, are you Mustang Al? And he says, yeah, we shared a room at the convention. And I said, wow, that was so long ago. I forgot your real name. So that was pretty cool. He hooked me up. I mean, I know who Mustang Al is, but I don't remember him by his real name. We, you know, we know each other by our our screen names, right? Super Mario. I like the character cards. Here we have Donkey Kong. It says first appearance, and I'm thinking, yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't remember seeing this one. I know there was some off-road vehicles in the Super Mario set when it came out, like uh, Bowser's, kind of an off-road vehicle. Yoshi's kind of a truck, and these are these are cars. Sure enough, seven. They added another character, so. This might be exclusive to GameStop. I'm not sure. I had to buy it. Oh, it says right there. It says EXCL, exclusive. Well, it says first appearance, so I don't know if it's going to show up somewhere else, but I got this at GameStop, so I'm glad to add it to the collection. But the reason I was at GameStop is because uh, a friend told me that, hey, uh, GameStop, we were talking about, I told him that I bought the Jada, I told him that I bought that Jada GT40 right there. And he says, did you get the Deadpool ice cream truck? The taco truck? I said, no, nah, I haven't seen it. And he says, it's it's at GameStop. I'm like, okay. So sure enough, I went to GameStop. There you can see Deadpool. I don't think it has any articulation. But the truck itself, the back door is open. And I believe the window, the vents on top, it shows that they open up. I assume this door slides. But anyways, so went to GameStop, picked that up pick that up and that's about it for my display oh i did change these two i did add these two to my uh golf display right here i have golf here you have the green light 2017 chevrolet camaro ss with the golf decorations and here is the 2009 chevrolet corvette c6r very nice all right let's head to the jammers room pick some cars Again, if you're new, in the weekend show, I've been doing some downhill racing. I call them uh, DHR quickies because I just pick a few suggestions of fantasy models. If you put down pairs, uh, A versus B, and then I'll pick a few pairs, and we'll do a little bit of downhill racing. In the weekend show, if you have a suggestion, please put like a DHR quickie or RGWS, Race Crews Weekend Show, DHR, so I know what you're talking about. You know what, this model here, <laughs> this was in the case last week, and it definitely caught people's eyes. Baja Bruiser is the name. I had to go look it up. I almost called it Baja Breaker, and that's something else. That's like a van. So this is this is a, this thing's over 30 years old. It's very nice condition. There's your basic wheels. Well, I think it's over 30 years old. But anyways, uh, yeah, a lot of people, hey, what was that? What was that? So <laughs> I thought I'd give you a nice close-up look of it. Mattel has reissued it with their uh, online website. They have an adult collectibles version, but there is an early sample. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you that real quick since a lot of people have questions about that one. There we go. S, we have a couple suggestions for S models. And normally I say uh, 
fantasy models, right? But I do happen to have these uh, Speed Racer uh, in the S's because I have extra Speed Racer models. It's actually the Mach 5, but I stick it in S for Speed Racer because then I stuck the other Speed Racer stuff together. This is Kelly Kalinkoff, I think. Uh, I think that was her name. But uh, it's, not, it's not really an S, but you see, I, I know where to find it. This one is Delia or Delilah. This one's a harder to find model. But sure, okay, so a Speed Racer. This is an official Speed Racer. A Mach 5 model. It was about 10 years ago. Well, when the first Speed Racer came out, Mattel came out with this car right here, Second Wind. And they made it look just like the uh, Speed Racer car. And, uh, well, you know, the Speed Racer people didn't like, didn't like them copying their car, so... They had to they had to stop selling the second wind so this car second wind it's got a pretty cool story this is not a recent model once again this is probably see late 70s 1976 it says second wind on the base so another car 30 years old we're gonna we're gonna do a little downhill racing with those two you you mr school bus i left you out of my school my school bus video Someone wanted to see Hot Wheels High, so we're going to check out uh, Hot Wheels High in the downhill race. So when uh, they also wanted a uh, high-tech missile, two H's, so I have a high-tech missile in green. Here's high-tech missile in blue. Actually, these came out of a truck and transporter, the one that you can hook the, all the, uh, the trailers together and you can make a train. Remember that, uh, remember that one? Mm, this time I'm going to pick blue. I went with the green model last time. So this time, we're going to have those two. I had a suggestion for a cloud cutter. Here's cloud cutter in red. Here's one in uh, silver chrome. I'll go ahead and pick the shiny silver one. Here's another C model. Cockney Cab 2. It's not the original Cockney Cab, the red line. I like that one. Red, white, and blue. We haven't seen these in a while. Circle Tracker. Haven't seen Circle Tracker in a while. Circle. Here you have. Cir you didn't hear that. Circle Tracker. Circle Trucker. We got some colors, several colors right in a row. I just have a couple right here. I have some others. Oh, I have, I have another C container. That's why they're not all in this one. Cool. Is this cool one? I think so. Cool one. This one, of course, with the Atari Centipede. Catapult, a little pocket rocket. I like, that. I like Catapult, too. I had a couple of people suggest the cars that start with power, or they start with P, but there's so many cars that start with the name Power, they get their own jammer. One of them people wanted. Somebody suggested Power Bomb. Well, I didn't have one loose except for the Accelerators version. I wanted to open this new one, so this one right here. By the way, these showed up at 99 cents only. I just showed them this week in my Off the Pegs video. So here's Powerbomb. I'm going to use this one. I'll crack it open before the race. Let's see. The other, that was Powerbomb, and the other two were Power Rocket and Power Pipes. Oh, red, white, and blue. We're going to use a, a red, white, and blue Power Rocket. This one's Stunt Flyer. Um, I think this came out of a five pack. If you have Power Rocket nowadays, it does not have this opening feature. Uh, it does not have this opening feature. Plus, I'm pretty sure that the, the new version, this is sealed. It doesn't have the, the gap right there. This is sealed. So if you get a chance to pick up an older Power Rocket, it has this nice opening feature. And the other one that starts with P, someone <laughs> Power Pipes. Let's see. How about the, this Christmas version? I love this satin red uh, holiday version. I like that satin red right there. So this is a P Jammer. P Jammer, what is, uh, why is Super Tsunami in here? Shouldn't that be in the S's? Power Rage, Mystery Car, Power Panel. This one's cool. This is uh, Batista from a wrestler. Uh, I like that color, but <clears throat> this one, I had to buy this one. 
because it has regular regular five spoke wheels. I don't remember if that one fits in the lanes. I think I bought it to see if it would fit because because these wheels for sure these wheels are wide. They're kind of bump. You know what? Now that I push this up against the jammer, I see they're about the same width. So I don't think that one's going to work any either. And you must be thinking, wait a second, if you pick three pairs, why are you picking so many cars? Well, I'm doing three bonus matchups this time because some people helped me out. So I'm going to do some bonus races for, for those three people. I didn't want to do the races just for them and then bump normal viewers of the weekend show. So regular viewers are going to get uh, uh, three pairs raced and then I have uh, three bonus races. This one right here, winning formula. I'm going to use this racing color. Here you have a purple version, a red version. What's up? It's just fun to say. What's up? It's got the electrical bolts in the front. What's up? What a drag. You got a three-wheeler. I don't remember if this one was final run or not. You know, that's a real car. Somebody actually made the, this is a real model. So actually, this shouldn't even be in the fantasy jammer because it's like a real car. Somebody, it's, well, it was a custom. They copied a custom car. Here's another one, Highway 35. Uh, this is not the Highway 35 version. Wild thing. This one has an opening feature. You can see that the hood opens up. You can see the turbine engine or turbine. Someone said it's not turbine, it's turbine. But this version is beautiful. Check out a uh, Superman. I think this one, I think this one came out of a two pack. I forget, but it did have the opening feature. I'm pretty sure later on in the uh, in the production, I think they sealed the sealed the hoods, but we haven't seen we haven't seen a version in a long time. And in a recent weekend show, I showed all of the slick backs, I think they were called. And here's that woozy that I showed in the previous episode. I almost messed up. I, I have my jammer sitting right there, and it's like, oh wait a second, I'm not done. So I Gonna get a little Indy Oval. Here's your uh, Indy Oval Racer. This one's brand new, or you know, it came out this year. Another one with Golf Temples. So that's definitely a nice one to add to the collection. Speaking of those crazy, crazy cars like Slickback, uh, I'm gonna talk about another one later on. This one was part of the uh, it's Torpedoes. Yeah, I think they were called Torpedoes. Um, just a hunk of metal with the wheel sticking out. Torpedoes. This one's called It's So Skinny. Get it? It's So Skinny. These are pretty good downhill racers. They got, a, they have a lot of weight to them. Speaking of accelerators, there's a silencer. There's some more col recolors of that silencer. Iridium. All right, we'll be doing some racing right after this. Hey, what's going on here? What's going on here? Got a little start gate. Oh, what's this? Cardboard. More cardboard. Hmm, I don't know. Here we go. We're going to have Mach 5 versus Second Wind. We'll do a race and then we will switch lanes. Say, go! Go! Speed racer in the real Mach 5, way, way, way in the lead. By the way, this one has a metal body, plastic base, whereas the movie version, this is all plastic body, but it does have a metal base. Here we go. That wasn't even close, but thanks for the suggestion. This way people got to check out this, uh, this older Hot Wheels model. This race is going to be High Tech Missile against Hot Wheels High. Both of them work very well in the boosters, but let's see who's going to win this uh, downhill race. Set, go! 
go. That was a very good race. Now we'll go ahead and switch lanes. Go. Go. High tech missile, 0 for 2. Hot wheels, high winds. There's that power bomb I just opened up, and power bomb's gonna face cloud cutter. Set, go. Go. Isn't that the third time that this lane won the first time, and then in the relays, <laughs> this lane won? Let's see if it happens again. Show sure enough, Powerbomb wins. Uh, thank you for the interesting suggestions, because these were kind of two-speed racer cars. I picked these two. Both of these started with an H. Plus, plus, I feel guilty that I left them out of the school bus video for Trucking Tuesday. And these two, they kind of have similar designs, don't they? They kind of have this uh, concave indentation right here. Concave. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and race all six and see who wins first place. One race for first place. Go, Speed Racer, go! Let's see who's second place. Set, go. Set, go. Set, go. Hot Wheels High, second place. Now third. On your marks. Get set. Go! Go! That was a close race coming down the middle, but Powerbomb gets third place. Third place. These three... I have a, I have a few bonus races I'm going to do right now, so you guys are going to have to... Uh, that's it for you. Retro Zone Neon helped me get some Star Wars character cards, so I'm going to give them this uh, bonus race. Thank you very much. Power Pipes right here. Power Rocket in the far line. Go. Go. What happened? You were in lane number two and you didn't win. Well, now's your chance to tie it up. Go. Go! Maybe not. Power pipes. Advances. Joe helped me get that gold Camaro. Thank you very much. He asked for these two cars, so we'll give them a race too. Say go! 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 Switch lanes. Go. Go. They don't call them winning formula for nothing. And Mr. Dan and Harry, in my Matchbox case unboxing video, he said, why don't you race Tuck Tuck against Duck Duck? So, okay, we'll do, we'll do some fun races. Now, I've opened them up before, so I'm going to use this yellow version. And I'm going to use this pink and green version. The only thing with Tuk Tuk, actually, I think it's Tuk Tuk, but anyways. <laughs> as soon as this post drops, this front wheel is going to fall in the hole. So, he might have a little bump when he comes out of the start gate. Another thing that might happen is, uh, he's skinny. He might get sideways in the lane. Uh, I might race them backwards. See how that works. Sit, go. 
Go. I kept the camera at the starting gate. This way we got a steady shot, hopefully, of it coming out of the starting gate. Uh, maybe I'll, I don't know if I'll get some slow-mo footage to see how it works, but anyways, go. Go. You make it down there, but uh, not very fast. Uh, one more just for the fun of it. We're going to put them backwards. Because when they're backwards, uh, they're less likely to wiggle. Well, that's my experience, but we'll see. There you go. All six cars from the bonus round. Sit, go. Go. Power pipes. Dude, <laughs> please keep your top down. We have kids watching. I seem to be missing some cars. Should be five cars, shouldn't there? Oh, never mind. There they are. They were hiding, uh, <laughs> hiding behind Duck Duck. I was hoping that you'd win a race, but, uh, well, you, you did win a race, but that wasn't very good. You just can't beat the power. Get it? The power? Get it? And here we go for third place. That was pretty good. That was very close. But uh, not quite the winning formula. Okay, I'll be back with some more content. I'll be right back to talk about these guys. Uh, dude, you don't fit. You're too fat in the back. Luis wanted to see some fat backs. They were first editions back in 2004. The best, he thinks, is a Toyota Supra. Let's take a look at all 10 of the Hot Wheels Fatbacks models.
Trucking Tuesday, I showed a bunch of buses from Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightning, Disney Car. Yeah, Disney Cars too. San P, you missed the Hot Wheels High. Yeah, I know. That's why when somebody suggested it, I went ahead and did it for DHRQ. When I posted Truckin' Tuesday in the Race Crews community on Facebook, some people shared some pictures of their buses as well. Check out this custom wood sign that Ryland's dad made for him. I see he has a couple Hot Wheels High models too. Anthony Hitching shared his custom bus. He also customized his own Lego bus. Nice job, Anthony. Jason Bach also shared some school buses. He has three Hot Wheels High models. I'm really glad that Rob Heyer posted this ghoul bus. It was a Matchbox item made available through Avon. It's a plastic model. It comes with a launcher and a few ghoulie dudes. I had to have this for myself as well, but it was faster for him to take pictures for me. He also reminded me about the Partridge Family bus from Johnny Lightning. I forgot about that. I could have used it in the video. I got a few. And last but not least from Rob, uh, the Simpsons bus as well. I did a Matchbox case unboxing video this week. And there's a brand new wagon in the mix. So I showed some wagons from Matchbox history. But I wasn't sure about the Mercedes, whether it was a wagon or not. I showed it and said it was a wagon. And Furious George confirmed, yes, the Mercedes is a station wagon. Though Mercedes prefer to use the term estate to describe their station wagons. Thanks, I forgot about that term, estates. We don't use that in the U.S., not as far as I know. Android also helped and said, race crews, I think the rule is if there's a third window behind the backseat window, it's a wagon or estate. If there's no third window, it's a five-door hatchback. By the way, I also read online that it's a wagon if the roof line continues past the back door in a straight line. If it kind of curves down right away after the, uh, the rear windows, or rather the backseat window, then that's more considered a hatchback. Thanks, fellas. Brian Artillery. Hello, Mark. I was wondering if the Dune Dog still has a sleeping dog molded in the rear seat. Uh, yes, it does. Sure does. Uh, it's easy to see with the orange interior because a lot of light, it's really easy to see. With some of the other models, when it has a dark interior, it's kind of tough to see the pooch sitting in there. I made a little promo for the Track Time channel and lots of pieces commented. How about actually posting some content on Track Time instead of hyping it? Been a sub since you started it, but the amount of content there is abysmal. As of now, there's only been three new videos since May. Doesn't surprise me at all that people don't want to subscribe to a channel like that. Well, you know what? There's other channels where people only make one or two videos a month. That's it. But I guess it's not okay for me. Not only that, track time is time consuming. It's not like I sit down for three hours and I'm done. Anyways, here's my analytics. You see that big spike on the right there? Yep, that's my uh, subscriber drive. 136 subscribers that day and the following day I got another 75. At least a lot of people are enjoying the epic track battles. Over 200 comments. 350 thumbs up. Thank you very much. But only 7 shares. Really? 7? That's it? If you liked it, don't you think you'd like to share it with other people? And if you're a family, you could share the video with other families where you know their kids are going to like the track time. A reminder about epic track battle suggestions. Andy Cow, Nissan GTR versus any Chevy Camaro, please. Nope, you gotta tell me the Camaro. I'm not gonna do the picking, okay? Bada boom, use GT Hunter. Well, you gotta tell me two cars, please. Emmanuel Gooseman, yes, the big air jump is back. Thanks, Emmanuel. This puts a smile on my face every time I see this comment. Well, the DHRQ, Downhill Racing Quickie, that I did during the weekend show, it kind of started off a little slow. But, but now it's a lot. 20, like 25 suggestions. I'm uh, just going to pick three. And then I did three bonus ones for people who helped me out for something else. So I didn't take away from the three. I got the three. And then I did a bonus three. Um, so I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you are enjoying that part. Lionel Messi, do a face reveal. Peekaboo. Yeah, just watch the whole video. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on camera every weekend. Ed Ham popped in, and if you guys remember a week or two ago, well, Ed, uh, it was a situation with Ed. He wasn't happy with uh, something, and so maybe he came across a little grouchy. And so he just wanted to pop in and, hey, race crews, I want to apologize for sounding rude. 
I was just upset because that story about Wendell Scott really gets ne gets next to me because of how they did him. But anyway, sorry for the typo. That's another story. And thanks for the brief history. Great show and keep up the good work. So, you know, I responded to him, said, look, look I was going to talk about it. You brought it up. I talked about it on weekend show. I'm glad he came back and apologized. He can be the bigger man. It's all right. You know, we're all human. To me, it's no big deal. Uh, I replied, hey, Ed, no worries. The show ran long, so I didn't have a lot of time. But I said I would mention it, and I did. There are gross inequities still going on today because uh, Wendell, he was a black NASCAR driver. So, you know, you can imagine way back in the early days of NASCAR and with him being black, you know, stuff. It was, it was It's different than today. Uh, maybe not a whole lot different in some places, but... We're getting there, okay? It depends on where you are, but we got to get there. You got to treat everybody right. Doesn't matter in this community here, here on YouTube. I treat everybody the same. Uh, now, obviously, it's a bunch of guys. As far as I know, a bunch of guys comment, right? But there's lady collectors too. There's people of all different types of backgrounds. I treat you all the same. Any age doesn't matter. I treat you all the same, and that's why it's a safe place here on the Race Crews YouTube channel and Track Time and Off the Pigs treat everybody the same so anyways i'm glad ed popped in and apologized apology accepted my friend uh, the best of life to you ed and steve h ask race groups have you found the groom mobile yeah i found the groom mobile As a matter of fact uh, i asked my son and i think you might want this and he goes yeah and he took it can't believe it my son he took a hot wheel he kind of don't collect that cars and things that much anymore but uh he definitely liked that one Hero driver, hero driver, ask Grace Cruz. So how are you uh, doing your fans since 2009? I've been supporting you when you're watching on Mythbusters. What are you up? What's the future of the YouTube channel, uh, Race Cruz, and what's your next journey? Well, Race Cruz, the channel itself is is not good. YouTube's changing, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm losing money on this channel every month. I'm in a hole. And you might think, yeah, but you have over two million views a month. So yeah, okay, so I'm making two thousand dollars a month. This place where I film right here cost me $2,800 a month. So I'm losing money on this YouTube channel. That's why I'm focusing on growing track time to get that going. That's why I had to start selling stuff on eBay. Thank you for those people who have purchased. I appreciate it. And so what's my next journey? Grow track time. And hopefully if that grows, that'd be fantastic, okay? So that's a challenge, right? Grow a new channel. It's focused. Track time all the time. That's all it is. And if you like track time, that's what it's about. I do need to get it going, and I'm working on that. You got a little sneak peek about uh, earlier in the show where you've seen that aluminum ramp. So I'm going to use that for the next track time video. I'm going to have a track time downhill racing competition on my own race crew's blue track, right? And so the first video will be a track time video. And then after that, I'll have it set up, and then I can do lots of downhill racing videos with my own track. Someone random. Hey, race crew's a question. Hmm... Why does Quick Bite have a small door by the driver's side and the other Quick Bite models don't have the little... I meant to show this when I had the jammer over there. But when they did the casting change, not only did they change the different things, okay? And that's one of the things. They changed the doors. So if you have an older model or a newer model, you'll see various changes throughout the uh, body of the ice cream truck. That's what it used to be. That's called Quick Bite. HW Road Beasts. Ask Race Crews, please, what's your opinion about the ages? And this is about the race crates. For example, if you're 15 and this set says it's for intended for ages 6 through 12, doesn't matter if you still play with it. No, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. You play what you want to play with. Okay? doesn't matter as long as you take care of it. The, the main thing is, you know, if the child is younger than the ages, then you shouldn't give it to them. They should be at least 6 or whatever the minimum is. It's up to you. Patch Lee, another question with the race crate. I usually don't go back a couple of episodes, but here was a couple important points. Ask Race Crews. I have the race crate, and he want to make sure, did I do the right, uh, did I properly do this one support bracket under the last piece of track, you know, because, and I know exactly what you're talking about. There's like this little part to where there's two little parts. You got to make sure you got to put them in. Yeah, I made sure. But thanks for double checking. Win, win, tongue. Ask race crews, when you die, what do you do with all your Hot Wheels before you die? Yeah, I'm going to try, you know, I definitely want to make sure 
uh, if I have the chance, uh, get rid of my key pieces first. Because I, I don't want someone to come in and then offer my family nothing for tens of thousands of cars. And my family don't want to deal with it, so they just get rid of it for, for nothing. But I'll make sure that I sell the expensive stuff first. And if, if you go to the Hot Wheels convention, uh, I'm going to be having my key pieces there, okay? A lot of key pieces. My 1995 Penny Treasure Hunt box set. That's going to go. Uh, so anyways, hopefully I'm okay by, the, by then. Anyways, it's not a gruesome topic. We're just talking life, right? Cars, toys, and games. Ask Grace Screws. Why a lot of collectors like licensed cars rather than fantasy cars? Even though I like fantasy and license, but I don't know why collectors like licensed more. It's because they like what they see on the road, right? Do you see these funny, odd cars on the road? Uh, you know, I think it's because not only that, people want more value for their money. And if they, if they get a fantasy car, they feel like it's cheap and they're not getting their value for their money. Uh, you know, there's, there's various we reasons. Ashy's Dice Cast wanted to know, are you sad to see Monster Jam go this year? I am definitely bummed out about that. I'm not bummed about it because I don't own the brand. You know, it's okay. Somebody else is going to do it. There's lots of stuff to kick, to collect, right? Now, if you only liked Hot Wheels Monster Jam, well, that's on you. Um, me, I don't get attached to any one particular brand. Look what I have behind me, right? <laughs> what do I have? I have Matchbox, Hot Wheels Monster Jam. Here we have Deadpool from Jada. Uh, what others? Jada down there. I'm missing a brand. Something is not popping. Uh, anyways, got green light right there, but that's okay. You buy what you like, it's your money. You spend your money how you want to spend it. Draco Metiero, you remind me of my grandfather Bill. My family love Hot Wheels. Please kick it up. Thank you very much. Guess what? My grandfather's name was Bill too. Well, actually it was Vasily, because they're Russian, and Vasily is Bill in Russian. So we have the same grandpa's name. Edible Monkey Rex. Hey, man, you're going to review the Spin Master trucks or maybe even use them? Uh, am I going to review them? They might appear on Truck and Tuesday. That's about the extent of the review that would happen, unless something happens. Uh, am I going to use them? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. You know, Greenlight, they have the, the Bigfoot truck, right? Greenfoot has a license to make Bigfoot, which Bigfoot is like... Uh, you're talking granddaddy monster trucks right there. And as far as I know, it's even before uh, Bigfoot is before Monster Jam. But uh, so it's kind of neat. We have a lot of uh, things in history. You can collect what you want, right? Green light, monster trucks, buy what you like. And if you want to buy something, hey, I got some stuff on eBay. Mr. Grooves, the link is down in the description below. If you can, if not, that's fine. Or if you like, uh, I put up some behind the scenes videos on Patreon. I did a little epic track battles. Uh, I made a little special fails video for people of the behind the scenes perk level. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.